Senator Jesse Hamilton, a representative from the Comptroller's Office of Penny uh, Eichen, uh, Evan Bernstein from the Anti-Defamation League, New York, uh, New York and New Jersey Regional Director, uh, my rabbi, Rabbi Eli, Eli Cohen from the Crown Heights Jewish Community Council. Um, I don't see a Mr. Green yet. We also have been joined by some wonderful individuals who are basically uh, heroes. Um, Errol Webley, raise your hand. Where are you? He's the uh, individual who, uh, yeah. Yes, he's joined by his brother, who's really proud of him, his brother Stephen McLaughlin. Um, the other gentleman who was responsible for uh, the capture and the arrest of the individual who's responsible for this heinous crime, Mayor Junick. Um, we want to give him a round of applause at Mendy Junick. Uh, they own this wonderful cleaning store. I urge all of you to bring your clothes here um, and get a discount. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gathered here today um, because over the past two days, our community has experienced two deeply troubling incidents. Both yesterday in Crown Heights and Sunday in Borough Park, we saw our two members of the Jewish community attacked simply because they were Jewish. And I want to thank the NYPD Hate Crimes Unit and the 71st Precinct for their quick responses to these incidents. But I really want to thank the heroes that are here that I just <coughs> recognized um, for capturing the young man. Because these disgusting acts of violence and hate have absolutely no place in our city and no place in our country or our state. And obviously they should, they should the Jewish community and every other community should be free from hate. Sadly, we continue to see a rise in anti-Semitic incidents, but also in acts of hate against other New Yorkers. And just this past Friday, we witnessed in horror as members of a far uh, right wing group attacked a man on the Upper East Side. This is not what our city stands for. This is not what our city represents. And we will not be defined by hate. And that's why we are here today. We are more, we are more defined by unity, celebration of one another. So to sh it's a really critically important that we all stand together. Jews and Christians and blacks and whites and uh, elected officials and religious leaders and our neighbors. Um, it's critically important that we stand together each and every time after an incident of hate. That we stand together both in the face of these attacks, that we stand together every single day as New Yorkers representative of this city and of the state. Because we know that there is far more that brings us together than that which divides us. We know that these individual acts of hate are just that, individual acts of hate by sick individuals with demented minds. They do not represent our city and our community. And we will not allow these singular hateful acts to tear us apart. And that's why we are here today. So without any further ado, our first individual to speak is our great Assemblywoman, Assemblywoman Diane Richardson. Thank you. I'm a product of Crown Heights. I was born here and I was raised here. And the beauty of our community is that we are a melting pot of cultures and religions. And somehow we've been able to work it out and be strong over the years. And so acts like just what took place, you know, yesterday is not a true reflection of the unity that our community truly possesses. You know, I... I would, I, I would really just like to really thank and ask them to please step up all those who are involved um, in the incident to show that, look at, look at the unity of our community, even through who responded, who the incident happened to, who responded, and who is all standing here together today. This is our community, this is Crown Heights, this is the unity that we want to see. We denounce any hate against any group because at the end of the day, all of our blood is red. We, we have so much more in common, the richness of, of all of our histories and our cultures combined together is what makes us strong. And so I stand here today to say thank you to all of you guys for showing courage in a time where others would have ran in a, in a different direction. I say, I say thank you to you guys for um, really putting and showing through your unity what the true spirit of Crown Heights is. And I say to you guys as a product and a leader of this community that we stand with you. We, we have your back 100% and we shall never, never, never let an incident like this happen again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Assemblymember. Thank you, Assemblymember. I represent unity in the community. Unity in the community should, more than be, should be more than just a slogan. And these gentlemen actually are the face of unity in our community. 
And they also say, say loudly that hate is not welcomed here in this community. And that's why uh, they are heroes. We often use that word heroes uh, to describe a number of individuals. But these individuals who ran after the, the perpetrator of this crime and arrested him and held him until the police officers arrived are truly heroes, heroes in the spirit of Crown Heights. I also want to acknowledge Alexander Gurinich from the District Attorney's Office of Brooklyn because um, we and I will push um, that the individual who is responsible for this hate crime and all others who are responsible for hate crimes are prosecuted to the fullest <coughs> extent of the law. The next speaker is our council member, Council Member Lori Cooper. Good afternoon, everyone. You know, I've been elected now for five years, and we have been on these corners far too many times. There have been far too many incidents of hate crimes in our community. And today, as Assemblymember Richardson said, we are here to applaud the diversity that has come forward to protect our community. Just this year, collectively as a community, we have come together in times of celebration. We have worked to create one of the safest West Indian American Day Carnival Associations together. The safest Juve celebration ever. We came together just recently to celebrate the Sukkot celebration that just happened. We were just here today a couple of weeks, or just a week ago to celebrate COL Lives, 10th anniversary, a celebration of community and gathering and bringing people together. We have come together so many times to celebrate at the same time. And we need to continue to work together and to continue to denounce all forms of violence. When we look around the world, there are so many war-torn countries, so many countries that cannot live together peacefully. And what we have in Brooklyn and Crown Heights is something that's very special. People that work together on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that our community can live together collectively, that they can celebrate each other's traditions. I encourage everyone to continue to learn about one another versus hating about one another. There is so much that we each have to offer. There is so much that we each have to celebrate. And they're truly wise and they're truly wealthy are those that take the time to understand one another's culture, to gain the richness and the information and the knowledge that God has given all of its children. And so it's so important that we continue that. We also have to continue to let people know loud and clear that all forms of hate crime are not tolerated and have been and always will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. There is no place, there is room, there is no energy for that in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York is one of the most diverse cities in the world. If diversity is not what you love about this city, about this borough, then this is not the borough for you. This is a place where people come together in unison and unity, and it doesn't work every day. But we have to work every day. We have to continue to put our efforts forward. And I want to applaud the leadership of public advocate Letitia James, who is two terms removed from being your city council member, who is about to be removed from being your public advocate, and who's going on to attorney general, who found it in her leadership capacity to continue to come back to the community that gave roots to her leadership. So I want to thank everyone that's here today. We're going to continue to work today. We're going to continue to send out acts of love and unity that are more powerful and vibrate louder than all the forms of hate that we've seen in the last week. I thank you all for being here because your presence makes sure your presence is important. People say, why do you come out to protest? Why do you come out on the corners? Because if we are not on these corners, we then normalize that behavior. We have to make sure that this behavior is not seen as normal, it's not seen as healthy, and it's not seen as something that we will tolerate, and we will continue to raise our voices upon any acts of hate in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member, for recognizing uh, my career. And yes, I am an honorary member of the Lubavitch community here in Crown Heights. <laughs> now for over 25 years. I remember at the hostilities that we had in Crown Heights, people were drawing swastika on people's homes. We said we will not tolerate hate 
and our community. And we made sure any time a SWAT sticker was drawn in a person's house, we had it removed within 24 hours. We've come a long way in Crown Heights with unity. I've gone to Israel, and I saw the hostilities in Israel, and I saw the baby's picture all over the place. And I thought I was back in Crown Heights again. And so I just want to say, when we have violence in our community, when my next door neighbor was mugged, I remember Deborah Havelstein's son-in-law came out and without the money. And so make sure if any one of us is attacked, we must come